Hey y'all, welcome to DJ Outdoors. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a little bit about my garden. Uh, I planted a few more roses and stuff. I didn't film it, of course, normally, but I don't have another cameraman, so it's kind of hard until I do, which you're gonna have to mess with. But uh, anyway, let me show you to my garden. It's just a uh, garden update. So sweaty, it's hot, I've been working all day and I came home to work on my garden. So let's get to it. <laughs> So first of all, I'm coming around to raise my hot wire fence a little bit because my chickens have gotten bigger. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm not scared, it's still on. So I'm just gonna loosen it up and I'm gonna just raise the fence up a little bit and I'm gonna tighten it back up. Sorry, it's not getting it. Ooh, that one shocked me. Ooh, I hit the fence right there, buddy. I know y'all saw that. It is all good. I'm okay. Ugh. At least I know what the fucking chickens feel now. <laughs> but no, it's okay. I'm gonna say that one's okay, but I'm gonna check the tightness of it. It's all good. This one's fine. Check the tightness of it. I'm being extra careful now since I got lit up. <laughs> uh, I might raise that one up since it did that now and raising it up in certain places will also help tighten it like you may not think about it but it helps tighten it every once in a while and if you straighten up the poles and push down on the bottom it helps straighten it up so see how the grass is kind of growing up so until i get it pulled i'm gonna do this but i'm kind of surprised that i didn't jolt as much when i got hit by this because i remember getting hit by this fence is a kid and it'd be like 10 times worse. This guy's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of like sticking the nine volt battery on your tongue. You know you shouldn't do it, but you just do it anyway. So, I don't know. Uh, this one actually, oh. Help if I turn the right way, one not it? Hmm. So that one's rose up. Almost all the way around. I already did that one. So I'm gonna move down. And this one's low. This one's actually touching some grass right now. So I'm gonna get to the right way. I get confused because I look through the camera. So bear with me. There we go. Raise this one. And this is the last one I'll have to raise. Help I, ooh, got hit again. Ah. <laughs> got hit three times by this motherfucker. Got to stop looking through the camera and actually look at my hand. All right, now that my heart's racing, I'll show you the rest inside. All right, now I'm gonna show you my tomato plants. And it goes Rutgers, one, two, I have two of those. And then here is Amish paste, and I have one, two, and I had a clone, which is just basically one that grows off the stem. And I put him hit there, and he's starting to do okay, but he still has yellow leaves where he's kind of weak, but he should come through. Tomato plants are kind of strong. This is another Amish paste. And this is another Amish paste. So I have five Amish paste. I would have had four, but I found a clone. So I have five. And then I have two of the Rutgers. And then Roma. 
Let me show you this one. Roma tomatoes. These are the ones that look different, actually. They're the little, like, eggplant-looking ones. And I have one, two, three, four of those. Uh, so I would have had two, four, and four, but I found a clone of one of them. But that's actually okay. Uh, I actually don't really like tomatoes, but I like when I mix them in with uh, like salsas or, you know, pizza, because that's tomato paste, almond paste, you know. So I like when tomatoes are incorporated into things, not necessarily by themselves. But to bring it to that incorporation, I'm gonna skip over these two real quick and I'm gonna show you my peppers. I have uh, red marble sweet peppers. And I have five of those. Ran along here and I planted like five or six seeds in each hole. So just in case. And then in this one, step over. And then I have the California, California Wonder sweet pepper. It's a little bit different. They're not like the bigger ones. They're more... You know, the smaller, more color, like darker, they're more light. So, but they're basically in essence the same. But I have five of those, and then I have a little bit of room. I probably have enough for two rows of something. I don't know what I'm going to plant because all I have left are viney plants. So, what I'm thinking about doing is taking down the farm pen and planting my viney plants in there since it has a lot of moisture moisture and uh fertilization from the hogs being in there and they'll love it pumpkins and zucchini they'll love it all right so i should show you the carrots got a row of carrots growing decent row of radishes nice i like soups so better go nice and then of course my row of potatoes still coming in nicely and then where well, i replanted some uh where i thought they would die they're starting to come in they're a little bit sporadicated but they came back in and obviously some more come in these real tiny ones are potatoes you can tell they're really potatoes are really defined plants you can really tell when it's them coming up and then you have them here coming in coming in here coming in and you can obviously tell because it's on the side of a potato but here's another one blue dry coming to get some of this bird seed that the chickens ain't eating oh well well i had the chickens curled up but since i uh been working in the garden they left but i just want to show you an update this is probably going to go in a different video of an update of the goat and or the chicken uh, into another update video and or just another video because it's not long enough. But, yep, this is my garden. Hopefully it becomes more than what it is and I'll be able to show you a uh, through the summer garden harvesting video. All right, other than that, garden update. Uh, stay tuned, because there's gonna be more. Uh, I'm gonna put this in another video. Sorry, I look filthy as hell. Just got off work and then filmed an update on my uh, video. Had to get content out to you guys, even though I don't get many views. Uh, I don't know if I do it for you all or for myself yet, but do it because I like it. So, until then. Stay tuned. All right, but guys, I'm back. Uh, this is uh, gonna go into the update video. This is some more of the update. Uh, I just need some content to go out and I haven't really filmed anything. So I'm just filming another <clears throat> quick garden update. And it's gonna be a lot different from the last clips that you looked at. So get ready, stuff's, there's my duck, but stuff's growing, so. Here we go. Start you off on some new plants. These are some jalapenos. I got one here and one here. 
And then I got some sweet bell pepper it's here. And then these don't have fertilizer on the bottom of them because uh, they were too small and I didn't want them to get on the lower leaves. But as you can see, this stuff has fertilizer on the bottom and it's from the chicken pen. It's all their bedding. I threw it in a big pile and then I let it set out in the weather to leach out a little bit more so it wasn't as potent so I could put it around stuff uh, without it frying it completely but everything's turning really green I did it to my potatoes got a whole row of potatoes still coming in so getting nice and tall but that doesn't always mean good for the tall uh, the peppers really didn't come in here and here so I have two more rows and of stuff I could put in and I don't know what I want to put in but I need to think fast and put it in because growing season's not going to be that long but radishes they're coming in a lot more the carrots are starting to come in this is the carrots I kind of got them a little clustered but they'll just like the radishes they're clustered but there'll be enough of them to where they grow in the full length to where it won't matter. But don't really like radishes and carrots that much, but I'll can them and throw them in stews and stuff. So that's why I got them. Uh, tomatoes, they're doing good. They got these, so a few of them fell over and like fell in the mud, but I got them propped back up. I'm gonna get tomato cages. But as you can see, I got the nutrients on them. This one's doing good too. He's getting bigger. But I don't think he's gonna do much of anything. That one, that one. And this one's my best one. It's a nice thick stem on it. She's a, she's a beaut. And got another one. And this one's the same, uh, same as this one they're all different breeds that's why they're also growing at different statures but i think this one this one and this one are all the same breed these three so that's why they kind of have all the same thickness of stem good and green green beans are coming up nice row here didn't really come in good it's okay towards the base there didn't come in good corn's coming in better almost knee high already and it's just june uh some isn't but i think it's because light doesn't hit like this portion very well so but in the course right there there's nothing growing because uh the pig dug it up but got that and then we got my pig here she'll get up and run away when i spook her Maybe. Yep. There she goes. And got all my chickens and ducks. Got a rooster there. Oh, there's a bug. But a rooster there. Uh, a rooster there. Where's he at? There. Ah. And then I think that's a rooster too. So. And then one of these black ones, I'm really thinking it's a rooster. This one right there, he just acts like a rooster. Unless it's just a real manly chicken. But I don't know. Pretty, look at that one. Right on. All right, I'm going to tag this in the other video and send it out to you. Oh, wait. I should show you this. Close these up for the night so they don't get wild. Oh, they're getting wild. Alright, well, I'm gonna show you this. The fantails, uh, I don't know what else to call them, but I'm calling them fantails. They, uh, instead of perching in there, they go roost up in this tree. There's six of them up there. But one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, six. They're just 
they just roost up there must be pretty safe when they're in there so I'm okay with it all right send her out to you dj outdoors where chickens take naps on top of pigs that are taking naps <laughs>